So, I just got word on this today because, you know, the one day I'm a little bit out of it, of getting news down the pipeline, Lawrence Keyes III, who left the team for the year, is now transferring. So, six scholarship receivers on the roster now. Yay. And two of them are freshmen. Now we got to go even heavier with recruiting receivers because, you know, that's fun. But... You can't see, but I'm shaking my head right now. <clears throat> we are down to six receivers. Um, <clears throat> mostly because two freshman transfers earlier this year. Jafar and... Jaf uh, no. It was Jordan Johnson and Jay Brunel. Brunel were... Brunel, one of the two. I think it's Brunel. Were transferring out because of playing time. And then... There was also Jafar Armstrong, who transferred out the grad transfer. And then Kendall Abdur Rahman also transferred out, who was, what, a third year? I want to say. Uh, don't quote me on that. Because he came in in 2019. I guarantee I'm, my math's off because I just woke up. But. He's now officially on his way out. And with that, that cuts the roster down even more receivers because, you know, this roster is not going through enough trouble already. But now you're down to Braden Lindsey, Avery Davis, Kevin Austin Jr., Joe Wilkins Jr., who is hurt right now, Dion Coltsy, and Lorenzo Styles, and Griffin Eifert. And Salerno, but I think Eifert and Salerno are walk-on receivers. Same with Henry Cook and Greg Maley. I don't think, I don't know if they're scholarship guys. Uh, I don't think they are. There's multiple receivers on here that I'm like, oh, you aren't scholarship receivers. But... It's a weird thing, because... I didn't see this happening I, earlier in the year. I was, it's one of those things where it came in and it's like, what? What? That, why? Oh, Jaden Thomas is also scholarshiped, according to Rivals, so we have seven. I didn't know he was scholarshiped. He's a freshman, too. But with Wilkins down, that is six active. Uh, scholarship receivers, I think that's where I'm getting that number from. So, let's hope the three freshmen can step up and move into a bigger role. Because if not, this Notre Dame offense is going to struggle even more. Because Wilkins, I think, was a bright spot. But everybody's been struggling on that offense. Even the running backs, Kyron and Chris Tyree, have struggled. So, let's hope it gets better. And um, I kind of want to see the Salerno brothers out there doing some work because... They're one of my favorite duos on the team right now, and some of my favorite players. So let's hope that this the other Salerno gets some work in too, and let's, uh, let's hope we can see him game time. But I had to get something out on this, and how that he's going. It's lowering the receiver count even more, and we're gonna have to go more into recruiting receivers because we did get. I think we have two or three receivers committed at this time. Although, that can change at any moment because they haven't signed their national letters of intent, and even then it can still change. Very, very slight chance it does. But, they're going, they got to go even harder at receivers now. And, I mean, I'm not complaining, but we'll see how this ends. Right now, they are they have committed. I, I should say verbally, verbally committed. Well, we'll just say commits because I guarantee somehow I'm going to get the lingo wrong. But C.J. Williams is committed, four-star receiver out of California, ranked twelve at his twelfth at his position. Tobias Merriweather, another four-star receiver, he's out of Washington. And he is ranked 19th at receiver. And 
they have an athlete, although I don't think he's, I don't know for sure what he really does, if he could go to receiver or not. And a Maureen Walker out of L.A. Out of L.A. Louisiana, so we'll see. But looking at who they've offered, some guys that are on Notre Dame's roster, or uh, roster, on their kind of watch, there's a good amount of players. And while most of them, or some of them, or most of them have already committed, uh, they are still going at receivers. There's a long list of receivers that they have offered, totaling up to 26. So we'll see how this goes. Um, only time will tell. And hopefully this problem slows down and kind of fixes itself. Because if not, Notre Dame's going to be in for a rough year, especially if we lose one more guy. So, anyways, you know who I am. Uh, videos are coming out later today. It's going to be a video packed day again. And I'll see you guys later today with another video.